your reaction to Patrick Brown's resignation? I mean, he did the right thing. Um, it's been very tough on all of us, not just MPPs though, like it's our supporters. Uh, the people of Ontario want change and they really want us to do that. So I'm pretty confident that uh, as we move forward, we'll select a strong leader that will unite the party, unite the caucus and take us into the next election. And, uh, and uh, you know, I think that we're gonna win the next election and you know, we'll just, we're just gonna have to pick that unifier tomorrow. Were the allegations that were made against Patrick Brown, were those something that you had heard pr prior to last night? It's interesting. I heard, you know, like there's rumblings and then you ask about them and then there's never been any proof. And so, uh, you know, last night to see the two women on television uh, tell their story really, um, you know, you really just feel for them and you, you appreciate their courage and, and you just... <sighs> It's, it's such a terrible, terrible thing. And uh, as a woman myself, my inclination is to believe and support her um, because I know how difficult it would be if it were me that was doing it. So um, that's why I came out as one of the first to sort of acknowledge that their pain and thank them for their courage. We're in that era now where us women can sort of take back uh, our lives and our bodies and that sort of thing. So um, I'm, I was thankful for them. Do you think that there is an issue uh, with either a sexualized culture or a permissive culture in politics that allows some of this to happen? You know what? It's funny. I talked to a group of students from Brockville a year ago, and uh, a few of us female members were asked about sexism in politics. And I think sometimes we gloss over it. And uh, then I remember, you know, I was once accused of I should be at home baking cookies. I was told I couldn't be an MPP because of... Um, my uh, my daughter and then uh, you know you, you do get some weird advances from time to time and nothing I've never had anything as egregious as uh, as what the, what those uh, two young women did um, and certainly I'm much older than that but uh, you know something I think we all have a role to play in saying you know I'm a professional uh, you're a professional it doesn't matter what our gender is or our sexual orientation uh, we're showing up to do a job and we want to get it done and what's next for you Lisa uh, you know what, I'm going to go to caucus tomorrow. I'm going to see what the party says this evening. I'm going to call a couple of my colleagues today. Um, you know what, the wonderful thing about um, this awful issue has been is the level of support I've received, not just people from Nepean and Carleton, but from all over the city of Ottawa and the province. And um, it's been a tough couple of years, four years for me, uh, having uh, dealt with some mental health issues and um, and just coming back from that stronger, they've really been able to help validate me and, and tell me that the job I'm doing in Nepean Carlton is, is worth doing and the work that I'm doing in the legislature is appreciated. So, so that's been, been very nice and, uh, and I'll have an opportunity to convene with my colleagues tomorrow and as I said, hopefully we'll find that unifier that can take us into the next campaign and put this nasty mess, mess behind us and, uh, and get on with doing what we're supposed to be doing, which is providing good government for the people of Ontario.